Railguns are often depicted in science fiction and anime as the weapon of the future. So when are they coming? Where can we start using these on each other? Look, unlike a traditional gun that uses explosions from something like gunpowder to propel a bullet or other projectile, railguns operate using electromagnetism. That means there should be no upper limit to how powerful a railgun could be, as the only limiting factor is how much electricity could be pumped into that bad boy. The idea of a railgun was first proposed over a hundred years ago, and they aren't just theoretical. We've actually built these, and the most powerful railgun was capable of launching a 3.5 kilogram ordnance at a speed of Mach 10. As for when we'll start seeing these in warfare, there's a good chance that the answer is actually never. Extensive research and testing has shown that railguns sadly aren't as cool as they seem. They're extremely expensive, require massive amounts of energy, and the electricity damages the rails, meaning that a gun could only fire off a few shots before needing to be repaired. It's possible they could be installed on shores as anti-naval weapons, but don't expect to see them being marched into battle, okay? 